Hey guys, how's it going? So today we have a big job going on in this 2019 Ford F-150 3.5 liter EcoBoost. We're basically pulling the whole timing set apart on there, usual, right? And we're rebuilding it, but I wanted to go over a few things real quick. Uh, they're very important when you get this job done. Let's say your local shop, your dealer under the extended warranty, you want to make sure you're getting the right parts going back in or else you're going to have the same problem 20, 30, 40, 60,000 miles later and you'll definitely be out of warranty then and you'll be footing the bill. Let's check it out. Now before we get into this too deep, I want to go over a little bit of backstory on the 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine. So the, the 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine first came out in the 2011 Ford F-150. So 2011 through 20. 16 is the first generation engine and that first gen engine it had a bunch of issues external issues with the turbos and it also had internal issues with the timing set from the phasers to the chains uh the tensioner causing chain stretch all kinds of issues on the inside of the engine so ford figured for 2017 they would redesign the engine second gen ecoboost as you see here and they fixed just about all the issues on the inside here, it seems, except those darn phasers. They cannot get the phasers right. It seems that Ford has never been able to get the phasers right directly out of the box, it seems. So what's happening on this engine um, is the phasers are coming apart on the inside and they're not locking to the camshafts anymore. So when you go ahead and have a, you start it up after it's been sitting for, you know, three, four, five, six hours, you get a loud startup rattle noise coming from the engine. Pretty embarrassing. It's pretty concerning considering how loud it is inside of the engine. Well, what's happening is the phasers are coming apart. So when the engine's off, they should lock. Like you see, this one's locked. They can't move it. It's locked to the cam. Check out the intake side on this side right here. move it the full length inside of there and the camshaft's not moving at all so they come apart in the inside and then you go you know the vehicle sits three four five six hours you go to start up the vehicle and it goes back and forth and you get phaser oscillation that loud rattling noise from the phaser coming apart so you know, this, this problem is, is a problem that is affecting uh, the 3.5 liter initially, then a 3.0 when it came out, the 3.0 Eco has the same problem now, and now they're even saying the 2.7 liter Eco has the same exact problem with the phasers coming apart. But today we're just concentrating on the F-150. So, for the F-150s, this is the original style phaser. You can see it here with the spring, the exposed spring. Uh, the bolt goes right through right here, just as you saw it on the vehicle. And that's how it looks in the backside there. Okay. So Ford has an extended warranty on this. Um, depending on your mileage, you probably got a letter in the mail already. Um, and if you go to a, your independent shop or even to the Ford dealer for customer pay, they're gonna to try to force this old style phaser. It's still being produced or they still have a huge stockpile of the original style phaser, the phaser that is prone to failure. So even for the extended warranty that Ford put out, they're allowing dealers, if they cannot get the new style phaser, to use the old style and get the customer happy for now and down the road. So the new style phaser, if you can compare them, I put them all together here. So this is an exhaust phaser and this is an intake phaser. You can see it's radically different. So this is the front side, front side, and you can see they're totally different. They're enclosed now on the front side here. And just the way they look on the side profile and everything, it's, it's, it's totally different now. See, so look on the back side, you can see all the different pins inside of here too. See all the pins all the way around? And then that's the main locking pin right there that locks in, splines into the camshaft. You can see it's totally different compared to the original. Right there, so there's oil feed holes, but there's no locking pins coming through. And just the one locking pin that splines at the camshaft. So it's a radical new design inside and out. 
And the problem is that they're allowing even the dealers under the recall, the extended warranty program to use the old style ones, slap the same old design back into there. And it'll work for a while, 30, 40, 60,000 miles, and then you be back to the same problem. And as you can imagine, it's a huge, huge job. It's a huge teardown, lots of hours, uh, lots of parts. I mean, look at them all. I mean, it's just stuff everywhere. So it's a very expensive job, especially customer pay on there. So the latest part numbers, they're, they're totally different, same exact ones. And these are the phasers that are used on a 21 and newer Ford F-150 with the second gen 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine that do not have this problem. So this is the latest and greatest, greatest part numbers for each one for the intake and exhaust on here. So you wanna make sure you get this part number and not the old style. I think the old style starts with HL3Z, something like that. You want the ML3Zs as you see here. And this is what they use in a 21 and newer production F-150s that do not have this problem. So you wanna make sure you get that and they don't go back in with that. Insist on it, make sure, inquire about it, let them know that you know that there's a later part out there or else you're gonna be back, back at it all over again. And generally after that, you know, once that's all replaced on there and good to go, and like for this one, it has 125,000 miles on it, so I am putting in a new timing set, chains, tensioners, guides, all that stuff, renewing it. After that, I mean, these engines are pretty darn reliable. You know, they're, they're, they're port and direct injected now, so they fix the carbon issue. I mean, there's a lot of different things and the turbos are much more robust, so the engines are actually pretty darn good now. We just need to make sure we put on the latest parts going back together. Make sure it's all the latest and greatest phaser so you don't have this problem again. So I just wanna make sure I get that out there and really hammer that home, give you guys the part numbers, make sure you're informed so that you can um, make the right decision when you're getting this repaired. It's gonna not, not gonna be a cheap repair if you have to pay for a customer pay, that's for sure. But it's a radical new design and you want this new style phaser.